You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Radio Show, only on Financial News and Talk. Now live in studio, your host, local and national real estate expert and consumer advocate, Ron Siegel. And hello again. Welcome to Ron Siegel Radio. This is the show with no real boundaries as we discuss current events, financial markets, politics, sports, even poking fun at the rest of the media. This is the show that connects the dots of confusion delivered by conflicting media reports. We connect the dots so you know the actions you can take, how your family or business can benefit from current events. Most of all, thank you for joining me. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That is my message. I do deliver it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Just remember, that's the number you call anytime for assistance. When you call that number, it comes directly to me first. You know it. There are no operators standing by. I am it. And while I do have a great team when it comes to developing a financing plan or plan to save you money, I personally work with you, even if you don't have any needs today, save this. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. Yeah, my guys are a little slow this morning. Uh, Even if you don't have any needs today, save this number in your phone for future reference, 800-306-1990, and yes, of course... It's a, well, I guess it's not a Monday morning anymore on Ron Siegel Radio. It is Tuesday morning, and we are, of course, celebrating. We celebrate every day Ron Siegel Radio. We missed a few days of celebrations, or at least of announcing the celebrations while we were taking a couple of days off for Labor Day. Did you have a good Labor Day? Hope you had a, a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed yourself immensely. I know I had a good day with uh, spending some time, family and friends. Uh, checking out though, our, our systems are a little bit slow this morning, so checking out the new, the day, the, celebra- the day of celebration. What are we celebrating? Ah, you gotta love it. Uh, technology, it is what it is. It is a little bit slow. We're gonna have to kind of get this puppy rolling a little bit quicker today. Are you moving slow? I think I'm moving a little bit slow on the on the uptake today as well. Ah, come on, guys, let's get the holidays rolling. Ah, check the mark. Markets are down a bit today. We are noticing that we are seeing a down market. Why are we seeing a down market? Well, pretty common. We're, we've got all this saber rattling going on in Korea, North Korea. And when that happens, we always know that we're going to have some different, a flight to safety. So that is what we're seeing right now is the typical flight to safety. We're seeing, if you haven't taken advantage of the markets, if you haven't got a home restructuring, a home refinance in place yet, I'm going to suggest to you now might be a great time to take a look at that. Uh, We're seeing the markets a little bit of uncertainty. That's a normal occurrence in the marketplace. So why would that be a great time for you to be refinancing? Well, when you fly, have this flight to safety, people are sending their money into the bond market, U.S. 10-year treasury. The U.S. 10-year treasury is the leading indicator of where we want to be seeing our um, mortgage-backed securities go. So we're looking at that as, a, as an indicator. When we see that indicator taking place, people sending their money into the mortgage-backed securities, well, it's just a time when you can actually get some benefits. I don't like the idea of taking advantage of a market when we're seeing these folks that are suffering. But boy, oh boy, you know something? When, there's peop- when there is money to be made or an advantage to have for you, for your family, that's our job is to bring that out, to bring that to your attention. So that's why we're sharing that with you right now. That's why we are doing that with on Ron Siegel Radio. Check it out. I'm just, uh, just the messenger here. So we'll uh, continue to watch what the markets are doing there as well. Ah, you got to love technology and the technical difficulties that we do get to deal with when, we, when you do live broadcasts. You always have to be careful of the technical issues. And, and I've looked at them in the past. You know, There's just no surefire method of protecting against technical, technical challenges when you're doing live radio. You know, you, unless you, you spend uh, hundreds of millions of dollars on studios and you go into the studio every morning, which I do uh, our broadcasts, as you know, 
are from a remote studio. We're not always in the main broadcast center. So with that happening, sometimes we do get to have to, uh, the price we pay for live live radio. So I'm going to try and check change over to a different, an alternate band right now, guys. So let's uh, take a look and see if that'll help us a little bit in, in our connections. Hopefully that will get us working again. Uh, tough. We saw this when we had the, the, the big storms coming through here that we had a problem with some of the connections. But right now we're seeing some of them again. So we'll take us just a second to try and catch up over onto the, the other network, see if we can get a, a better connection for you. Let me uh, take us off to a quick break and see if maybe that'll solve our issues right now. We're going to go to a break real quick. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit, and the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel, knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel, knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran, own a home, and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations. NMLS 21037 and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates. And many other service providers have incentives, too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. Just giving you a heads up. Okay, so we got some of our technology back up and working. We're still working on it as we broadcast. But today we know we are in National Pizza, Cheese Pizza Day. Not, not just pizza, but cheese pizza. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average down 210 points right now as we are speaking. So we're looking at that number for you as well. Oil up a dollar fifty-six a barrel. The U.S. ten-year Treasury 
off eight basis points. That's a big, big drop, 2.085. We had told you a couple weeks ago we were looking for this to go down to about 190, so we'll see if we get close on that number as well. But we're going to continue to watch that number for you to see where it is that we go to. So that's just another one of those, those numbers. So Watching that, did you see the movements yesterday at Labor Day? Did you celebrate? Just checking. So there was a big $15 an hour movement. You got to love it when people that are, have no idea about economics go to some of these different movements and are looking and, and seeing what's going on with them. It's a shame that we continue to see this same scenario where we've got people... It's, it's, it's a union play. The unions like the idea of going to this $15 an hour program because they know that eventually that, that just gets them, their, their membership is down. So with their membership down, they're hurting. They, they, they don't really care about the fact that it's going to hurt the average worker. That's not their issue. They don't care. Their issue when they go and look at these things is how do they get more money for their constituents. That would be the union worker. That, that's just the way those, the, the unions and their whole process work. So let's think about that concept when they're doing that. Who is it hurting? Now we're seeing some different areas where the unions have gone in and they've, they've gotten this accomplished. They've, they're, you look and see what's going on in Seattle. So far this year there have been 60 restaurants that have got this $15 an hour pay model and they're all out of business. Think about that. Is that what the, the idea is behind these things? You think it's the idea of getting people to lose their jobs? Is that the focus of where they're heading with this? It's the byproduct of it. It may not be what their plan is, but it certainly is the byproduct of what's going on. Think about that concept. I would suggest that you really be careful when you start talking about the idea of these different, these different companies that are going, these, these different politicians, it sounds good. It sounds really, really good to be going with this idea of a $15 an hour minimum wage. But in real, in real life, yeah, it doesn't really work that way. The folks that are getting this $15, you know, they're they're not seeing the benefits of it. They're getting their hours cut. They don't realize the fact that just the business owner is not the one that's taking the pay cut. Sorry to inform you that it's not coming out of the business owner's pocket. He's going to still take the salary he needs. He still needs to open. He still needs to pay his bills. So what ends up happening? They go to kiosks. You're seeing it more and more where you've got an iPad on a table. You've got a kiosk in a McDonald's. Place your own order. Don't worry about it. They'll get it to you. They'll get it right. You've got a method of payment that people are dealing with. It's a little different business model, but it's certainly what's happening. And that is really where we're, our, our whole economy is going to end up going to just because these folks are going, they're non-economics. They don't understand the basics of business. You don't regulate money. You don't regulate wages. How do you get the, the wage up? Well, we've got a, unfortunately, we've got a perfect opportunity right now to get wages increased. You see, there's going to be millions of jobs that are going to be created in the Texas marketplace, South Texas. Millions of jobs. Can you imagine what it would be like to go and work for a contractor there if you don't have a lot of technical skills? They're going to have, and I, I, with all due respect to the working force, they're going to have an opportunity there that's going to be called, it's going to be basically, the idea will be grunt work. And even though grunt work is not the best kind of work, the idea is going to be that it's going to be work that people are going to get to do and people are going to be able to get a job. They're going to learn a skill. Because in addition to the grunt work that's going to be there, there's also going to be apprentice work that will be there. And you'll be able to learn how to do some of the things that people need to learn how to do if they want to be within that marketplace. Do you understand where that's going with? Do you understand that this is going to be a big, big boom, a big opportunity for our economy?
just sharing that thought process with you because it is something that, that those people who want the get away from a minimum wage environment, you're going to have an opportunity to do that right coming up very, very soon. And I'm going to suggest to you, take opportunities when they're there. They're, <clears throat> the opportunity will come that you can learn how to be a carpenter. You can learn how to do drywall. You'll, there'll be a need for plumbers, electricians. You can go into, the, into different areas, actually even in other parts of the country. There's going to be a lot of need for additional vehicles, right? Because there's going to be those people that there's millions of cars in Texas right now that have been lost to flooding. That's going to be a new issue. There's going to be people that are going to need to replace those cars and get something new, something that they can actually drive, something that will work for them. So I'm going to suggest to you that's going to be another opportunity that you're going to have to be able to get work if you like the idea of learning. Now, do you need to be a college graduate to go and help clear out rubble, to clear out yards, to be a landscaper? No. But when you take and learn those skills, even though it's learning under fire, you're going to have an opportunity to take those skills with you and use them, put them to work in another marketplace that'll be more advantageous for you and might be in a different area that you enjoy working in. So this fight for 15 is going to be something that's coming up. They did it, started it yesterday, the SEIU, the State Employees Unions. They like that idea, but think about what's happening already in the marketplaces where they've already got this going on and they're cutting hours, cutting workers, cutting jobs. And then they say, well, why is there more unemployment? Well, it's because the businesses can't afford to pay more than a certain amount. Let the free market. Now, if you've got all these people, think about this concept. This is the next step of it. All of these people leaving Southern California, say, hypothetically, because they don't want to work in Los Angeles, or they don't, can't get work in Los Angeles because of the $15 an hour limit. And they leave and go to Texas. No income tax there. There's no state income tax in Texas. So you're already starting off better off. But think about that concept. You go down there, you learn how the job, you learn how to have a marketable skill, then you bring it to wherever you want in the country. Remember, you're saving whatever they're paying there. Now, what that does in Los Angeles, that takes, that diminishes the workforce. When you diminish the workforce, wages go up normally. Right now, I would venture to guess in the areas where they're able to start doing work in Texas, you don't have to work for $15 an hour. You can get more than that. The insurance companies are paying more than that. FEMA is paying more than that. Because it's called supply and demand. There is more demand than there is supply. As the jobs come online, it's going to take a little while till the jobs come online in Texas for rebuilding. But when those jobs start coming online, do you think they're going to be minimum wage jobs? Well, if there's an abundance of workers, they might be. But if there's not an abundance of workers, then you're going to see the same exact thing again. You're going to see a higher wage for these individuals. They're going to get paid more money, and it's going to drive wages up. Now, as more and more people come in there, if the jobs don't continue at the same pace as the individuals, then we're going to see it go the other way. Speaking of going the other way, holy cow, did you see what's going on right now? Ah, maybe people are starting to get tired of the Hollywood elites. Yeah, the estimated ticket sales fell to a 22-year low in the box offices. And people are getting tired of hearing, getting all this garbage from these Hollywood elites. New Line Cinema, Warner Brothers division that has been a resurgent force in horror genre, is expected to blow the cobwebs off theater seats with it. An adaptation of Stephen King's 1986 novel about Pennywise, The Demonic Clown, $70 million box office, but we're not seeing anybody go into the movies. Did you go to the movies over the holiday weekend? Now think about this. In years past, over Labor Day might have been a good time to go to the movies. This year in Southern California, it might have been a great time because of the heat that we had, but they had their worst year ever. Think about that concept. 
We'll talk about more about that and with more of the news when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, how home value grows your family's wealth. We talked about the fight for 15. Frustration mounts over premiums for individual health cares. And is the reverse mortgage down and out for the count? We'll talk about all that and more. You can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Radio On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564, complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Did you know that banks and credit bureaus are rewarded financially if you have bad credit? And the worse your credit score is, the more money they can make off of you? How does that make you feel knowing that banks are getting rich off of your hard-earned money? How does it make you feel knowing that if a bank or a credit bureau makes a mistake on your credit report, they benefit from it and it hurts you? The Fair Credit Report Act of 1971 requires banks and credit bureaus to report only accurate information, and nearly 100% of all credit reports are inaccurate. If you're sick and tired of being broke and tired of being robbed by the banks, you owe it to yourself and to your family to call Rondi. Rondi is a FICO certified credit professional and has helped thousands of people just like you get out of debt and establish great credit. Rondi's number is 855-608-1990. Again, that's 855-608-1990. Or visit creditsanitizer.com. Again, that website is creditsanitizer.com. Are you a veteran? Own a home and need money? The Siegel Lending Team is here to help veterans refinance and get the money they need. The VA 100 lets you borrow up to 100% of your home home's value, refinance your mortgages, consolidate credit cards, and lower your payments by an average of $700 a month. And the Siegel Lending Team knows that character means more than a credit score. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by the California Department of Corporations, NMLS 21037, and DRE number 01869452. Are you a veteran, police officer, firefighter, doctor, nurse, or teacher? If so, you qualify as one of Ron Siegel's VIP heroes, and we have rewards up to $5,000 or $10,000 when you buy, sell, or refinance a home with one of the Ron Siegel Radio Partners. As one of the heroes, real estate agents will rebate part of their commission. Lending partners will give a credit at closing. The title company has special published rates, and many other service providers have incentives, too. All you need to do is call Ron Siegel Radio at 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit VIPHeroProgram.com. Just think about what you will do with all the rebates and incentives from the partners of Ron Siegel Radio. Just call us at 800-306-1990 so we can show you our appreciation for your service. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800 306 1990. 800 306 1990. 1990 in the real time real estate segment today being brought to you by the area trusted real estate professionals of Ron Siegel Radio text nest nest to 79564 nest nest to 79564 find your dream home before someone else does a couple of stories for you to learn or, or for us to share with you today how your home's value grows your family's wealth. Over the next five years, home prices are expected to appreciate 3.64% per year on average and to grow by 18.4% 
cumulatively, according to Pulsonomics' most recent home price expectation survey. So what does this mean for homeowners and their equity position? As an example, let's assume a young couple purchased a cl a and closed on a $250,000 home in January. If we look at only the projected increase in price of that home, how much equity will they earn over the next five years, we're looking at about $48,749 projected income. Since the experts predict that home prices will increase by 5% this year alone, the young homeowners will have gained $12,500 in equity in just one year. Over a five-year period, their equity will increase by nearly $49,000. This figure does not even take into account their monthly principal mortgage payments, in many cases, home equity is one of the largest portions of a family's overall net worth. The bottom line, not only is home ownership something of value to be proud of, but it also offers you and your family the ability to build equity you can borrow against in the future. If you're ready and willing to buy, give me a call at 800-306-1990. We'll chat about it. We'll see if it makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense for you today, we definitely want to make sure we get you on a game plan for tomorrow. Now, there are articles. I saw this one on Fox Business, and it just made me ill. The $1.4 million mistake too many millennials are making. And I looked at this, and I just said, ah, millennials are doing lots of good work with their savings. And we're saving earlier than our parents did. We're saving more, too. All that despite making around 20% less than their parents did at the same age. But there's one thing many of the millennials are doing wrong. They're investing in the wrong things, according to this article. And I look at the article and I say, okay, let's, let's see what they have to say. A recent survey by Bankrate, young adults favor cash 30% and real estate 30% over stocks 13% as their preferred investment vehicle. And they came up with this concept that investing in cash or real estate is a terrible idea. And they give these examples as to why investing in cash or real estate is a terrible idea. And I'm certainly glad if you're a Ron Siegel Radio listener that... You know better than that. Yeah, you know better than that. So risk versus uncertainty is what they come up with. Their generation came of age during the Great Recession, so it's understandable that many fear the risks of the stock market. Investment gains and lose value on a daily basis, and too many of them remember watching their parents' hard-earned retirement savings slip away during the depths of the stock market collapse in 2008. By contrast, cash provides certainty. It won't disappear overnight. And real estate investing is backed by big, tangible assets, physical properties, that seem more durable than an online brokerage account. Historically speaking, both cash and real estate also provide another certainty. The certainty of lower returns than the stock market. The problem with cash is that your ability to buy things with the cash, your purchasing power, does no better than keeping up with inflation. Even... <laughs> Unbelievable. Even if a dollar today earns 1%, 1 to 2% interest in a savings account, virtually unheard of these days, it's still doing better than keeping pace with the price increases. Real estate, real estate by contract, has historically outperformed inflation by a whopping 1%, according to the article. Contrast that with the stock market through all the hills and valleys, stocks have historically returned returned inflation plus 6.6% annually. So on the one hand, you have the risk that your investments will decline precipitously on some years versus certainty that your purchasing power won't significantly outpace inflation. With that in mind, let's reframe risk here. If the true risk that you're looking to control. I, I, I'm looking at this story for you, and it's just amazing how ignorant some people are, and unfortunately, this is a, an article that's in the Motley Fool Investment Guide, and the name is appropriate, Motley Fool. Because think about this. They're talking about a 1% appreciation or 1% rate over appreciation. And while that technically is accurate, reality sets in. And the reality of it really is, think about this. 
when you're when you're putting your money into the stock market, you've got a one to one relationship with your investment. So you put in a hundred dollars in the stock market, and you you get a you get investment value of a hundred dollars. Now, when you put a hundred dollars into the real estate, you're investing really a thousand dollars because you've got leverage built in there. Now you're looking at what is the spread between both the 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 spread be between the interest you're paying and inflation. So right now and again I told you this morning that interest rates are extremely low today because of what's going on over in North Korea and the uncertainty of that marketplace. There's really nothing going on over there. What's really going on is the uncertainty of the area. So you think about this concept of where we what we're doing and the issue becomes, what's the spread? So you had $1,000 going up at 5%. And I did some analysis for some folks over the weekend just to give them an idea of what some of these numbers look like, what people are getting, what their, what their attractions are. And think about some of these numbers. So I just did this one. This is for, um, I think we've got an Orange County, California here. So if you're investing in Orange County, California, you're looking at what numbers are going up 4.99% over the last 42 years. So if you get a 6% return on that $100 you put in the stock market, you've got a $6 return. So you've got $100 in the stock market, 6% gives you $6. You have $1,000 going up by say 4.99%, so that's $50 of return, and either way you put in $100. Do you see the difference? You can return on your $100 cash investment, either $6 or $50. Which one do you like? So when they talk about investing in the wrong place, they have no clue what they're talking about. They're just giving you bum information. Then they don't talk about the idea of what is, this, what is the earnings that you're getting? What is the total? You have to look at a couple of different things for your total numbers. What is your total number of dollars earned? What is the total number of value that's earned? Because you've got both issues there. And when I say value earned, what I'm really talking about there is how much money do you have in net worth? That's really what we want to talk about is what is the net worth that you're seeing because of doing what you're buying a home? Because they don't want to talk about that part. Because why do they want to, they don't want to talk about it? Because they're getting paid by, mortgage, by, by investment bankers. They're getting paid by these big services. When they start getting paid by them, and I'm going to give you some exact numbers because I, for some reason I don't have the chart in front of me right now. But I'm going to pull up a chart when we go to break of what your real number, your real net worth is by buying a house, and I'm just gonna use a $500,000 number, Orange County, California. We'll have that number when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. Can't believe these folks giving us that bum information. Motley Fool and Fox Business. 14,904 homes sold yesterday. Was yours one of them? Uh, we'll talk about that as well. Health insurance premiums, is the reverse mortgage gone? We'll talk about all of that and more. You are listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate, current events, and the financial markets. You can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Ron Siegel Radio on Twitter at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. In the middle of Siegel Lending Team offers you buying power. Let's say you can afford a monthly mortgage payment, including principal and interest, of around $1,900. With today's rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage of 3.75%, APR 3.85%, that payment could support a $416,000 mortgage. But if you wait and rates tick up to around 6.5%, which is roughly the average home mortgage rate over the past 30 years, that same $1,900 mortgage payment, including principal and interest, may only be able to support a $314,000 mortgage. That's over $100,000 worth of home. You're missing 
missing out on by waiting. That's buying power. All you need to do to get started is reach out to the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Payment example excludes taxes and insurance. Call us for full details, 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990. Or SiegelLendingTeam.com. Equal housing lender, licensed under NMLS number 217037. Are you purchasing or own a luxury home? If you're like so many others, your home is your largest asset and the mortgage is your largest debt. The Siegel Lending Team has some amazing financing opportunities right now. Jumbo loans up to $2 million, 30-year rates below 4%, 15-year rates near 35 and if you can believe it, 7-year interest only hybrids in low threes. The Siegel Lending Team has all the options for your jumbo or second home loan requirements. Take advantage of them while you can. To learn more about all the other financing products available from the Siegel Lending Team, call 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Again, call 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal Housing Lender. Homeowners that are 62 and older are about to find out a great way to live a better retirement. It's called a reverse mortgage, and SLT can help you learn more. Call the Siegel Lending Team at 800-306-1990 right now to receive your free booklet with no obligation. It answers questions like how a reverse mortgage works, how much you qualify for, the ways to receive your money, and more. When you call the experts at Siegel Lending Team today, you'll learn the benefits of a government-insured reverse mortgage, how it will eliminate your monthly mortgage payments, and give you tax-free cash from the equity in your home. Here's the best part. You still own your home. Now is the best time to take control of your retirement. Call 800-306-1990. That's 800-306-1990 to get your free brochure. Call today or visit our website at SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or simply call 800-306-1990. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message. And as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or anytime at 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Good morning, Robin. Glad to see you there. Sarah, glad to see you with us as well. I've got a little technical problem this morning, Robin. Apparently our, our camera is using too much bandwidth, so we have to check on one of the new, a new uh, gizmo. I don't know the technical term that, that converts it into the, the, the Facebook Live, so hopefully we'll have that fixed with by uh, Wednesday is what they're telling me. Uh, moving right along, so we, we've chatting a little bit about uh, the Mortgage Minute today, brought to you by Gold Star Mortgage. When you're ready for that next mortgage, Gold Star has the fast pass. If you are thinking right now about the idea of refinancing, maybe you want to take some money out of your existing home and get it into the marketplace, don't let the... (laughs) <laughs> don't let them know, don't, don't let FINRA know that I shared with you that there is a very, very good benefit to the idea of taking money out of your home. See, when you have a lot of equity in your property, basically what you've got going on is you've got cash sitting underneath your pillow. Now, if you can put that money into a safe, secure investment... And we talk about those like Al Manfrey has, or you talk about some that Brett Barber has, and we've had those gentlemen both on the broadcast with us, then you're able to really do some interesting things for people. You're able to take and work on the idea for your family of, it's called arbitrage. So what happens if you take money out of your home that's sitting there making absolutely nothing for you? And it's ironic because many of us, our home is our most, our largest asset, right? So you figure you've got, what do you have, $300,000, $400,000 in equity in your home, and you haven't done a single thing with that equity. It's sitting there, 
and it's doing absolutely nothing for you. You see, if your home is going to appreciate, and I just told you that for the last 42 years in Orange County, California, housing appreciates at 4.99%. That's our statistic for Orange County. So you've got, say, $500,000 in equity. That means you could be earning $25,000 a year, or you are earning $25,000 a year on that appreciation, right? $500,000 home, 5%. I didn't use the 4.99, I used five, sorry. Five, $25,000 a year appreciation. Now, if you have it fully leveraged, you've borrowed everything you possibly can against it, you're going to get 5%, $25,000. If you're free and clear, you're going to get 5%, $25,000. Now, what if you took out a $500,000 home and you take $300,000 out of that home? and you put it into a safe, secure, maybe a guaranteed or insured investment, and that starts earning, and historically they earn about 8% a year. So $300,000 earning 8% a year, that's $24,000 extra per year that you're earning in a safe environment, less the cost of the mortgage, and right now we're at historic lows. So you're going to probably be at about $1,600, give or take, principal and interest on that. So $1,600, you just do the math. And you get, then you get a tax write-off. And I've shown people many, many times, many times, how you, you can do this and retire with a huge nest egg by simply taking your equity and making use of it. And I did this during the break. I went and did a, a buy versus rent analysis. And I'll post, I'll share this with anybody that wants it. All you need to do is text me or send me an email, ron at ronsiegelradio.com. And here's, the, here's what we did is we took a $2,800 rent. And I also took the idea of what if you buy a $550,000 house? And the buying it, the principal and interest payment on, a, on that right now is going to be principal, interest, taxes, insurance, the whole, and, and including some monthly maintenance. It's going to be about $3,500 a month. The rent in year one is $2,820. We put a little uh, $20 a month in, in renter's insurance in there. And we did an analysis for nine years. Why did I use nine years? Because that's what we hold our homes for right now. Used to be we held our houses for six years. But right now, it's nine years. At the end of nine years, I bet you can guess what your principal interest taxes and insurance payment is going to be by buying a house. Yeah, it's going to be the same thing, thirty-four ninety-five. But with a modest increase, you're going to be at thirty-eight fifty-two. at the end of nine years is your rent. So over that nine-year period, you're going to spend $19,770 more by purchasing. $19,000 more. Just cash-on-cash cash purchasing. But in appreciation, using historical numbers, you're going to gain $303,000 in appreciation. $303,000 in appreciation. You're going to have another almost $90,000 in equity through amortization. And your tax benefits are going to be $59,000. And that's if you're in the 25% tax bracket. So think about that. You're going to be, your $19,000 is what you're spending extra in cash, but your tax benefit is $59,000. So you're $40,000 better just there alone. So your net gain over nine years buying that $550,000 house is $375,601. $375,601. Does that make sense to you? Do you understand that? Do you understand what it's doing for you and your family? Think about that concept. And then they come out with a, on a Motley Fool or on Fox Business and they say, well, you shouldn't do that. You don't want to be buying a house. Really? It's just total absurdity. When they come up with some of these things, it does not make sense. They don't, they don't look at all the numbers. They look at it and say, okay, well, real estate up 4.99%, stock market up 6%, you should be buying, being in the stock market. Number one, you don't know anything about what you're doing in the stock market. Most of us don't. 
There's a few people that spend a lot of time, 12, 14, 15 hours a day, studying the stock market so they understand it. The vast majority of us don't study it so we don't understand it. They're, they've got a big advantage over us. Can you, can you do some homework on buying a house? Certainly. And then you've got the idea of the leverage factor. Again, I just showed you how you can be $375,000 ahead over the next nine years. You tell me how you're going to come up with $375,000 in net worth over the next nine years in some method other than real estate. Because here's the issue. If you take 5% annual appreciation, let's just take 10% annual appreciation on $1,000 in the stock market. So you've got 1,100, you've got 1,210, you've got 13, 11, you've got about sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars over five years. So you say, say it doubles, it's not going to, but say it doubled. Do you understand that? You're not going to, so you've got $2,000, multiply it times 50. Doesn't, it's going to be, you've got 100,000 against 375. The math just isn't there because of leverage. Think about that. We'll talk more when we come back. You're listening to Ron Siegel Radio, discussing your real estate current events and the financial markets. When we come back, we're going to also talk about is the reverse mortgage down and out? We'll talk about that one as well. Ah, unbelievable. We'll talk about that. We're going to also continue on our conversation about uh, health insurance premiums. Interesting issue. You can reach me anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsegalradio.com. Connect with us, facebook.com forward slash ronsegalradio. On Twitter, at Ron Siegel. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a few. Are you living in the home of your dreams or simply where you think you can afford? Are you earning a safe, secure 10 plus percent return on your investments? Is your credit score over 800? If the answer to any of these questions is no, what are you doing about it? Text ATP to 79564. Complete a three minute complimentary survey, and the area trusted professionals of Ron Siegel Radio will reach out to you to develop a success strategy for you. Again, all you need to do is text ATP to 79564. Most businesses struggle to get the online reviews they need to get a competitive edge over their competition. Rex is a brand new technology that uses text messages to direct happy clients to your online review sites, Zillow, Google, Facebook, and Yelp, and unhappy clients to a private survey so businesses can win more customers. Try Rex today by going to www.meetrex.com. Are you currently renting a home? Do you like paying someone else's mortgage payment? Why not explore the options to purchase your own home? Can you imagine a 30-year fixed-rate loan below 4.25% APR? This means with $10,500, you can purchase a $295,000 home and have a principal and interest payment of about $1,400 per month. What are you paying in rent? Does your family deserve the opportunity to take advantage of the current market? To learn more about these exciting opportunities, the Siegel Lender team is standing by to speak with you. Call now, 1-800-306-1990. That's 1-800-306-1990. Or visit SiegelLendingTeam.com. That's S-I-E-G-E-L LendingTeam.com. Or 1-800-306-1990. Rate subject to change without notice. Licensed by NMLS ID 217037 and 145502. Equal housing lender. Not endorsed or sponsored by any government agency. Do you have a goal of mortgage-free home ownership? What if your home was valued at $500,000? Are you aware that a free and clear home could be costing you $2,500 every month, $30,000 per year? The mortgage planners at the Siegel Lending Team would like to show you how you can own your home, generate tax-free income, and accumulate family wealth. You simply need to call the Ron Siegel Team at 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. By sending the team a copy of your most recent mortgage statement, the team will send you 
you a no-obligation real estate plan. You be the judge if this is right for your family. Again, all you have to do is send the team a copy of your mortgage statement by email to reap at ronsiegelradio.com or call today, Ron Siegel, 1-800-306-1990. That is 1-800-306-1990. Great subject change and without notice. Licensed by the California DOC and BRENMLS 2170037 and 145502 and Cal BRE 01869452 and 1866775. You're listening to Ron Siegel's Home and Finance Show with local and national expert Ron Siegel. Now, here's Ron. Welcome back to Ron Siegel Radio. Within every market, there are solutions as well as tremendous opportunities. You just need some trusted guidance. That's my message, and as your consumer advocate, I will be delivering it every day on Ron Siegel Radio or any time at 800 306 1990 in the, in the Word on Wealth segment today being brought to you by CreditSanitizer.com. You have a credit report. It is wrong. What are you doing about it? Credit Sanitizer has the solution for you. 14,904 homes sold yesterday. 14,904 homes will sell today. And 14,904 homes will sell tomorrow. That's the average number of homes sold in our country every single day. There are some owners who are patiently waiting to get the price they hoped for when they originally listed their houses. Something these homeowners might want to take into consideration is the fact that if their homes haven't sold yet, maybe there's a reason for it. The average number of homes that sell each year, and or I'm sorry, each and every day in this country, according to the National Association of Realtors' latest existing home sales report, NAR reported that sales are at an, estimate, are at an annual rate of 5.44 million. You just divide that out by 365 days a year, and then we can see that on average over 14,904 homes sell every day. The report from NAR also revealed that there is currently only a 4.2 month supply of inventory for sale. Six months inventory is considered historically normal. So we've got less than that, obviously. This means there are not enough homes available for sale to satisfy all of the buyers who are currently out in the market in record numbers. So the bottom line, we, re- we realize that you want to get the fair market value for your home. However, if it hasn't sold in today's active real estate market, Maybe you should consider your asking price. Maybe you're looking at trying to get too much money for that property. That's just the way the numbers work on it. You know, it, it's we can always we always look at everybody that I know. I've never seen in, in instances, and I, I've told you this before. I've got a real estate license. I do not use it for my own case. I mean, I do a lead a lending team. I do a radio show. That's more than enough for me. The idea then becomes. Look at the marketing. Everybody I ever talked to, all the people that call me on radio, they all talk about the same thing. They, wanted, they, they believe their house is worth more than what the marketplace says it is. Well, the marketplace is telling you. I, I, was, I was promoting a property just recently for a friend, and we were talking about the idea of how much value, the, how much the property is worth. And I said, well, we had one property that we promoted and there was about 9,000 views and there was all kinds of inquiries as to the value of the property. And the conversations continued on and on about the value of the property. There was another property that had about 8,000 views or 8,000 hits on this property. But as soon as we mentioned the price, the conversation stopped. What is that saying about the price of that property? It's telling us that Regardless of what the homeowner thinks, the market is saying that it's not worth the value that the homeowner has put on it. So the homeowner has to make a decision at that point. Do they want to sell or do they want to continue holding that property because it's not going to sell at the pricing that it's at? That's just, the va- that's just what's going on right now on that property. It is not going to sell at the price that they've got it listed at. Now, what do they want to do about it? That's their choice. 
They can say, well, I'm going to hold out for it. Okay, fine. Leave your house set up as a museum and realize that your real estate professional and the community are going to get tired of seeing it. And you're going to end up chasing the price down. You'll never get that price you want. Take it off the market. That's the other option. Take it off the market and bring it back three, four, five months from now and see where the market is at that time. Those are your options there. Now, a, a good real estate professional is going to say that to you. They're going to say, you know something, we're, we're just not in the right place right now for us to get that kind of value for your home. Let's take it off the market. Give me, let's do some work on it. We'll do what we need to do and make sure that it works right for you at the right time. Game plan. Or again, just take the lower price for it if you're looking to move on with your life, if you've got another reason that you're wanting to do what you're wanting to, needing to do. Today is the day. It is the day that the insurance companies have to tell, set their prices for the coming year on a health insurance. 20% increase is what we're looking at in most areas. Ah, Congress didn't get anything done, so we'll see what happens with that one as well. Continuing on losing benefits and seeing where the market moves to. And as always, I ask you, set that first radio preset button to come back here every day to join Ron Siegel Radio, where we only speak about items affecting your house and your bank account. Thanks to all of our sponsors. A great job by, St by Steve engineering us today. It was a little challenge. Uh, you can reach us anytime. Our off-air number, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990, or ronsiegelradio.com. And remember... Make a lot of money, help a lot of people, have a lot of fun, have a great day. We'll talk to you next time on Ron Siegel Radio.